My name is Samuel Spadaccini, and this is my story of Turkey's Lycian Way. I spent two weeks doing as much as the way as I could. These videos were recorded in March, the slow season. My story begins with a flight to Antalya from Istanbul. Normally requiring a month on foot, I took buses between the major destinations of the eastern, central, and western trails, traveling over 500 kilometers. After my time in Turkey and meeting the people that I did, the only thing I regret is not being able to stay longer. So we're walking through the Mediterranean countryside of Turkey, and apparently any time there is a D on the side of the road, you can press the signal button on the bus and hop off. Easy as that. We're starting in, what was the city called? Antalya? No. Shaiman? Something like that. We started in Shaiman yeah, because Shaiman. we want to see the uh, ruins here, which is where we're headed now. And then we're going to the next city, which starts with the T. And then <laughs> from there, we'll have lunch. <laughs> And Ooh. we will stop <laughs> and make camp. So that's the general plan. Yeah. Let's do it. Ah. So I'm definitely getting some Camino vibes here. Blue and yellow. It's so honestly off to a really great start. We chose a good location and we should be on our way to the ruins now. A couple of things we found a graveyard. Let's see. It looks like. Could be tombs. Could be tombs. So the Lycians, the ancient Lycians. people that lived here. Uh, they lived in a city state, which right. means that each city had their own government and political system. Uh, I guess the best example is Greece and from what I remember from the topic that I read at some point they form a union Everywhere we go there are tombs Kubo wants something like this for when he dies I want a pyramid we are talking about this. Alright, fine. Pyramid. I we'll have pyramid. to do. <laughs> Phasilis was founded in the 7th century. It was one of the most important commercial ports of Lycia for some time, becoming an official member of the Lycian League in 167 BC. But its prosperity and location, however, also made it an attractive target for pirates. Yes, pirates. Roman intervention in 43 BC dispelled the pirates and annexed the city. Roman rule fostered a new period of wealth, peace, and reconstruction. But like all good things, this period was short-lived and trade plagued by pirates gradually diminished. Pretty amazing that we're sitting here in an ancient amphitheater. Zero control, no security of any kind. Losing relevance, the city of Phasilis became uninhabited in the 13th century. All right, so this is campsite number one for us. <laughs> and tomorrow <laughs> we will uh, walk 16.5 kilometers to the closest town where we stay overnight. Yes. And But to do it, we need to cross some hills, mm -hmm. which means 900 meters up and 900 meters down yes. with all our things on our back. So we're going to start pretty early tomorrow um, and, die, so yeah. and we're not going to die. It's going to be a great time. Today was beautiful and I think it exceeded our expectations yeah, yeah. really a lot better than we thought it would be. Yeah. And we haven't seen a single soul on the trail yet. Turns out March is a pretty good time to do it, I guess. The weather is cool. The weather is perfect and tomorrow it's going to be warmer. Until then. Got a pretty great space. Yeah. for ourselves. And 
if he disappear, this was the last place where we were. Yep, this will be the, last, be the last time that you see us. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>Good morning from campsite number one. Morning, morning. We just had breakfast and we are enjoying this lovely view that we have here. And we're gonna hit the road soon. We're gonna take down the tent and get going. We're going uh, today to, what's the name of the town? Siri. Uh, it starts with a C. We're going to Olympus today. And there, there should be ruins and all sorts of fun things to check out. So stay tuned. Here we go. <laughs> so Raleigh, that's where we're headed today. <laughs> Woo! Woo! We stopped here for some water and we thought it was gonna start raining, but it looks like it's gonna pass over. But I, we still can't get over these crazy, 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 awesome views. Looks like the Jurassic. There's a dinosaur! <laughs> I'm not at all. T-Rex! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Back on the road. Uh -huh. I can't uh, believe we're alive right now. <laughs> we just... <laughs> need to be worried about tower. <laughs> no, because we just stood underneath our tent in the downpour rain. It was awful. It was torrential. Two times. But luckily we were accompanied by our lovely dog Olympus who's over there, he has accompanied us the entire way. And when we took the tent off from above our heads, the <laughs> he second time he was waiting style. for us outside. And this place is honestly amazing. This beach is looks like paradise. I'm absolutely soaked. I've never been this wet before, I think. I'm entirely drenched. Everything is wet. Hopefully the laptop, uh, cameras, and all the other electronics, drone, has survived. We are not too sure. <laughs> what I can tell you is the tent is entirely wet. It'll be like in the surprise. It served us well. I think it actually saved the day. Back at it. <laughs> Woo! Let's do it! Olympus is such a good boy and is waiting for us. Aren't you, boy? Another thing, we named him Olympus because... We named him Olympus because the city that we're going to that has the ruins, probably tomorrow because of the rain, is also named Olympus. You're not in Czechia anymore. I know. Otherwise, this will be weird. <laughs> You're always patiently waiting for us. Look at you, you good boy. You are a good boy. Wow. Every single time we find him waiting for us. Look at you. Onwards to Sir Ali. We're almost there. Okay. Hi. After many twists and turns through this town and asking people on the streets, <laughs> We finally got a hotel, and it's just relatively expensive to what we've been used to, but yeah. we're pretty desperate at this point, so we've stopped looking. You're wet. Right. And we're very wet. We just hung, all of our possessions are now hanging, suspended, and uh, airing out. My passport's also wet, yeah. And tomorrow we will see the ruins. Ruins? Yes. Oh. The mythical, legendary place, the Chimera, where fire it comes out of the mountain. One of the entrances to Tartarus? Uh, hell! <laughs> it's Tartarus, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get something to eat. <laughs> so although this town is full of Russians, I've seen two Ukrainian license plates, which is uh, kind of contentious juxtaposition, I would say. Um, and everyone thinks when they <laughs> greet us that we're also Russian, so... Yeah, they ask if we speak Russian. It's sort of strange for us. We are like, no, no, no. A weird experience. And this town is very, very touristic. Yeah, we paid a lot for the 
hotel and all the restaurants are far more expensive than what we've seen in Paris. Istanbul and in Antalya. Yeah. Everybody so. can find a cheap place, but here. Thank you. We didn't realize, but I guess breakfast is included in our hotel. Kuba is happy. Kuba is happy and looks super nice. Oh. All right, we got a nice omelet here too. Boom, mm. egg. That's what I've been missing. This egg. Okay, oh, we just had breakfast. Oh, so so nice breakfast. Super nice, nice so of them nice. to include that, and I definitely recommend staying here. And now we are on our way to the Olympus ruins. <laughs> Wow, the peacocks are really aggressive. <laughs> we always start our day with um, a lot of energy and optimism. <laughs> and then we realize we have to cross something like this. No. Or <laughs> it starts raining. <laughs> We've just entered the ancient city of Olympus, or what remains of it. And it looks like in the winter time you don't have to pay to get in, so. Historians reported that Olympus was one of the most populous cities in the Lycian League, one of wealth and one of art. It is thought to date back to the Hellenistic period of Greece from 300 BC, a time of progress in the Mediterranean. Like Vasilis though, Olympus succumbed to pirates until the Roman commander Isaricus reclaimed the city. We're hiding under this bush because it's raining again. again. But it's super cool here. It is very nice. And I decided to start new British Museum in Prague. Yep, he's so I'm becoming an imperialist. It's probably going to be raining like this on and off all day, so... He said I cannot bring tomb home. No tombs home, no. But we will manage somehow. <laughs> Within the Lycian League, Olympus had the elevated status of casting three votes, one of the six other cities with this special right. By the 15th century, however, Olympus ceased to be the important center of culture that it once was. And what was once inhabited by humans is now inhabited by amphibians. This place is entirely full of ruins. You could spend hours and hours out here, but we have to head back soon and get to Chimera. Say goodbye to the ruins. <laughs> okay, it is two o'clock in the afternoon and we are finally leaving Sarali. We are far behind schedule as usual. I'm noticing a pattern here. Um, we are in the Mediterranean and things move at a slower pace, but it's actually very nice and we're enjoying it. And we're going to take a Dolmo shop to the next town. So yeah, that's the plan. Here we go. See ya. Yanartash in Turkish or Chimera in English is thought to be the site of the first Olympic fire. This natural phenomenon surely inspired many myths such as Hephaestus, the Greek god of fire and disabled son of Zeus and Hera, who has his own temple just below these flames. We're descending the valley now and it is so beautiful here. It's incredible. Can't believe it. There's a lot of campsites here and this river has been following the trail the whole time and this is gorgeous. I can't get over it, really. Let's see if we can get across this river. Kuba <laughs> has decided that he wants to try to get across this log. I think I changed my mind. Yeah, maybe <laughs> not the best option. Kuba, I don't think this is a good idea. No. Nope. No? I don't see it. I'm gonna die. You're almost there. You're almost there. Okay, he did it. I'm gonna have hypothermia in my feet. How do you feel? Good. Not too bad. Feet stay stinky. We're here. Ah, uh, my feet are probably still stinky. Yeah, whatever. In March, looks like a fairy tale. And that's Gandalf. So the way really gets wild here <laughs> in certain points. I mean, we're like going through a rainforest, it looks like. It's pretty crazy. Ooh. <laughs> Should be there soon though, I guess. <laughs> All right, we just came out of the forest. And what do we see up there? 
that is some snow that I see. How does that make you feel, Kuba? Oh, it's so tiny and also we started next to the sea today. Yeah. And that is a huge mountain with the snow. Huge mountain with snow, valleys with rivers, beautiful scenery. Can't really beat that. <laughs> it is 8.35 and we are finally in Demre. Finally in Demre. <laughs> We found so many new informations, like mm -hmm. in Turkey, uh, Dolmuş can stop on a highway. <laughs> in the middle of the road, basically. Yeah, there was so a sidewalk, we didn't there know a why. turns and then it can stop right there, yeah. safely. <laughs> we got here. We're here now. We go to eat. And Dolmuş's are great. Ooh. Yeah, we have a great hotel, it was the first one we found, it was super cheap and now we're here. Tomorrow will be a new day. Bathroom like a prison. We haven't eaten lunch, so we're super hungry, and we're gonna go have dinner now. Two dinners. Here we go! Ah! Look on the trail now, it is 8 a.m. This is the earliest we've ever started, and we're already lost. <laughs> Are we lost? Yeah, we're lost. Okay, 